Welcome to Bonne, a tropical island off the coast of Venezuela. Today we will visit our favorite spots around the island, both in the south and north side. After leaving the picturesque downtown, we stop by the salt pans of the south, famous for its gorgeous pink waters. From here we head north through the turquoise crystal clear waters of the west coast. stop at a site called 1000 Steps. This site is one of my favorite for a reason. The abundant marine life flourish here just few feet away from the shore. The healthy colonies of corals offer a vibrant scenery against the backdrop of the silky white sand. Bonaire is home to more than 300 species of fish and 60 different varieties of corals, making the island in 1000 steps one of the best shore dives in the world. Anywhere you look, you'll be at awe at the abundant beauty of what I call a perfect coral reef nested in the calm, tropical waters of the Caribbean. After exploring this amazing site, we are ready to head south to our next destination. But first, we stop at beautiful locations along the way and enjoy the postcard coastline Bonaire is famous for. And we finally make it to our favorite beach of the island. Sorrowful Beach. All right, ready? Let's go. When I think about the way we used to be, when I think about the things you took from me, I know that I am so much better, better. When I look at what I've done, now that we are apart, when I look at what I've won, I've come so far. Number two in our list for best sites of Bonaire is the Salt Pier. Without a doubt, this is one of the most unique places to dive in the Caribbean. Again, the diversity of the marine life is simply exquisite. The school of fish are everywhere, swimming all over and in between these massive pillars. The pier is a working jetty where ships load and transport sea salt out of the salt pans. side so much we decided to stick around and watch the sunset and got back in the water to explore the pier at night. The rich and beautiful colors of the fish and corals pop at night like neon lights in the darkness. A mesmerizing sight worth every bit of it. After nightfall the reefs here are very much alive, and a spectacle of hunters and prey strategizing the battle for survival. Mm -hmm. 
next morning we head back to the north side to explore our third favorite spot of the island, a place called Carpata. Carpata is the northernmost dive site before entering the Washington National Park. On this location, the coral formations are deeper and more vertical, forming what we call a wall, going down all the way to 150 feet deep. The wall is covered by an abundant combination of hard corals, sponges, and gorgonians, some of them being very massive in size and beauty. No dive trip is complete without a shipwreck. Our number four top side, the Hilma Hooker. And what a fantastic and easy to explore shipwreck this is. The Hilma Hooker was built in 1951 in the Netherlands and it sank in 1984. The ship rests on its starboard side, right at 100 feet deep with easy access to penetrations making the exploration of the hull and engine room very accessible. I hope you enjoy our top picks for the best sites around the island. Bonaire is a world-class destination, not only for its diving, but also its laid-back vibe and off-the-grid resorts. The raw beauty of the island combined with the easygoing nature of the people is the reason why Bonaire has become without a doubt the unspoiled princess of the Caribbean. <laughs>